Hey guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm talking about how hearing aids are getting so small that you can hardly see them anymore. Coming up. Back in the day, hearing aids used to be so big that you had to carry them around like a suitcase and be close enough to an outlet to plug them in to give them power. But don't worry, technological advancement eventually led to these suitcase hearing aids being powered by batteries instead of having to plug them into the wall. I mean, can you imagine actually carrying around a hearing aid that is the size of a car battery? Fortunately, those days are gone, and new technologies like the transistor eventually replaced the vacuum tube technology, allowing hearing aids to become much smaller smaller. This led us into a generation of body-worn hearing aids just like this one that could be clipped onto your shirt pocket with an earpiece that you could wear in only one of your ears. Yes, a body-worn hearing aid is still pretty conspicuous, but ask anyone who had to lug around a suitcase-sized hearing aid and they would tell you that the body-worn hearing aid was virtually invisible. As the decades rolled by, hearing aids eventually got down to the size of something that you could actually wear behind your ear. We often still refer to those hearing aids as big beige bananas because that's basically what you were doing. You were wearing a banana-sized hearing aid behind your ear. The silver lining to this is that you no longer had to lug something heavy around. You could just put something on your ear and go. Of course, the size of these hearing aids were still pretty big, so someone came along and decided to combine hearing aids with eyeglass frames and thought it was a good idea. And you know what? It was a pretty good idea. Unfortunately, that technology did not last very long, but it is going to start making a resurgence here in 2024. Eventually, in my freshman year in high school, 1996, the first fully digital hearing aid hit the market. It's still crazy to think that that really wasn't that long ago. The earlier generations of this digital technology was still pretty big, but as time has gone on, switching to digital has allowed hearing aid sizes to come down significantly. This digital signal processing allowed for some something called feedback reduction, which allowed hearing aid manufacturers to create slim tube hearing aids that were open fit inside of the ear canals, as well as the first receiver in the ear hearing aids. The body of these slim tube and receiver in the ear hearing aids could fit comfortably behind your ear with just a wire that comes down into your ear canal with a tiny little rubber dome. Early generations of this technology typically use size 10 or size 312 disposable batteries to try to keep the size of these receiver in the ear hearing aids as small as as possible. And you know what? It must have worked because over 80% of individuals who actually wear hearing aids wear a receiver in the ear style. But we have a rather unique problem on our hands right now. And that problem is that technological advancement has also led to rechargeable battery technology. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Cliff, How's that a problem? Well, rechargeable batteries are typically larger than their disposable battery counterparts, which has led to receiver in the ear hearing aids becoming larger if you choose to go with a rechargeable version. That is, except for the new rechargeable Nexia Micro Re hearing aid from Resound, today's video sponsor. The Resound Nexia Micro Re is the smallest rechargeable receiver in ear hearing aid in the world. I mean, just take a look at how small this hearing aid is. When I put it on my ear, it doesn't push my ear out at all. I mean, this thing is super small for a rechargeable hearing aid and for any hearing aid for that matter. And even when I put on my glasses, it doesn't interfere with the hearing aids at all, which can be a concern for some individuals. And while you might be thinking that Resound must have sacrificed some other features inside of this hearing aid to get a rechargeable hearing aid so small, you'd be happy to learn that they didn't sacrifice anything. Somehow Resound figured out a way to miniaturize their battery technology and all the other components inside of their hearing Aid, so they didn't have to take away any of the great features that they have inside of this entire product lineup that is also included inside of their disposable battery models. First of all, you get 24 hours of battery life on a single three hour charge, which is crazy for a hearing aid this size. You can also get the same great performance in background noise with a four and a half decibel signal to noise ratio improvement over their previous version of directionality in the Resound One hearing aids when using the front focus feature. They're also the first hearing aids ever to be equipped with Bluetooth LE audio for better streaming quality with lower battery drain, and it also allows for something called AuraCast broadcast audio. Essentially, AuraCast will allow you to tap into a public Bluetooth LE audio system so you can stream audio directly into both of your Nexia hearing aids. Think of going to places like movie theaters, museums, or even church buildings and having all of that audio go directly into your ears. You also still get wireless connectivity 
exclusivity with all of Resound's great accessories. These include the micro mic, the multi mic, the remote control, and the new TV streamer plus that also uses LE Audio Bluetooth. And if you're someone with single-sided deafness, you now have the option of using the rechargeable Nexia Cross transmitter, which is the exact same size as the Resound Nexia Micro Re, making it the smallest cross transmitter on the planet as well. You know, it's kind of crazy to think that a hearing aid like the Resound Nexia Micro Re could have all of these different features inside of it and still have it be a tiny fraction of the size of older hearing aid technology. We're basically at the point now where you can get your hearing aid to be almost invisible and you don't have to sacrifice anything when it comes to performance. Nor do you have to go the disposable battery route just to get a hearing aid to be much smaller. Now you can do it with a hearing aid that's rechargeable. So if you happen to have small ears or you wear glasses like I do, or you just don't like the feel of something behind your ears, or you don't want the hearing aid to be very visible at all, and you want that hearing aid to be rechargeable, there is nothing stopping you from getting hearing aids that check all of these boxes. In fact, the only negative that I can think about with where Wearing a hearing aid that is this small is that you're not going to get in better physical shape by lugging around a 10 pound suitcase hearing aid like your grandparents had to do back in the day and you're going to have to get a gym membership instead.